Hey guys and welcome to another London 2012 video today and we are going to be looking at the uh, 25 meter rapid fire pistol event and the men's trampolining. Now I had a couple of requests for a couple of others um, so the next video I will probably be doing the butterfly and the skulls but for now we're going to be doing these two mainly because I haven't practiced the uh, the skulls event I'm kind of shitty at it so I don't want to embarrass myself completely but today it is the men's trampolining event currently I think we've got about five or six golds and we're looking at Antonio Russo of Italia and we're going to get straight into this basically get one go to nail it completely we've got beginner advanced and expert and we are going to go for advanced two and see how we get on here this guy has practiced all his life and this is where perfection oh for fuck's sake terrible start there did it again doing really well here needs to pick it up a little bit that's better from him found a little bit of form now and he's away he's in his zone this is when the Italians start to perform to perfection come on of course I'm playing with the PS3 controller so I'm kind of confusing myself with the buttons but there it is completes it with 16 seconds to go started off absolutely shocking but he found the form and as you can see here wasn't a great start falling flat on his face a couple of times but he did manage <laughs> once again does it and then he starts to pick up the form gets pretty tough when you put it on expert let me tell you and there he is looking not too shabby anyway nine to nine point sevens gives him a score of 41 and that will put him in first place qualifying for the finals with Memo Jetvik of Germany in second, Dan Cipatini of Australia and Romania with Andrei Popa in fourth. So of course the men's shooting event, very very tough, the rapid fire is one of the toughest events, it's all about precision, accuracy, speed, timing, everything comes into play. And here we are looking at Francesco Ferrari, what a name that is, up against Ami Patel of Great Britain. Can I have a quick tutorial just to uh, refresh my memory here? Obviously you got to push up. Okay, now this should be a little bit better now because I've got a better controller. So hopefully we will do well but it's going to be tough it is hard the AI is smarter than the average bear and let's see what we can do here we've got eight seconds to hit five targets really should be getting no less than nine to hit let's have a look Go right in the middle oh there we go lovely gives him 47 could have been better but a good start for him in second and Eddie Mize of the uh, USA in first loads his gun hand on belt six seconds now and 
that was beautiful only one off perfection puts him in first place now USA second and Great Britain second as well takes a lot of practice to get this down another six seconds here it's a good start lovely stuff again another 49 out of 50 and Mr. Ferrari is looking good one point ahead of USA still and Great Britain in third this time only four seconds here this is the tough one this has got to be quick precise and accurate not too bad as well 47 out of 50 but the USA are really stepping up their game and they are first round five here another four seconds and this is where the increments really do matter make them even smaller him a 48.3 still in second place one more to go and there's no doubt now that he probably will qualify unless some miracle happens for China final time can he get a good score wasn't too bad 48.4 it's very very tough and it puts him in third place a personal best for himself and he will qualify for the finals but there's no doubt it's going to be tough to get gold in this event certainly USA performing very very well then first Great Britain second Italy third and Russia take fourth So on to the trampolining, the final hit. One attempt, and that is all you get. Has to be performed well. And let's see how we do today. Antonio Russo will be up against a couple of good competitors today. The question is though, what difficulty level is he going to go at? Definitely can't do beginner or beginner two. That's just not going to happen. I think I may go for advanced one. Fuck it. We're going to go all out here. This is going to be tough. Got to remember the timing has to be perfect. Gotta keep it going. Oh, that is precision right there. This really could be his day. It's a good start by him. Oh, so you gotta do it in the specified time. And keep everything smooth. He's got 30 seconds now to complete the last one. And there it is. That was a wonderful performance by the Italian. Completely flawless almost. And he's got to be confident that he's going to get a medal here, no doubt about it. You can see here, it's a good start for him. This time there was no accidental falling on the face. Look at the beautiful somersaults and flips and everything else. And obviously you get a certain amount of time to complete your routine. 
and he did it. Here is the scores, very, very positive. Here's my total of 43.4. And there it is, he's got the gold. Antonio Russo cannot complain about that. Fantastic performance, he will take first. Yi Wang of China will take second. And Memo Jetvik of Germany in third. And of course now, the Italian national anthem. So there it is, fantastic scenes here for Italy, can't complain, fantastic stuff. Anyway, the seventh gold of the games, China second with a gold and a silver, and Greece the third with two silvers. So we move on to the rapid fire pistol event, the final here, and this is going to be I think a very very close intriguing final of course Eddie Myers of USA will be the favorite and Amai Patel will definitely be in there as well but can Francesco Ferrari of Italy pull something out of the bag here he's not the favorite but he is confident he can get a medal and in round one he's got eight seconds to do so That's not great there. Need really need to get all tens here. Make sure I get that in the middle. Beautiful. 49 out of 50. It's a good start for him. And as you can see, Yong Zhang of China. Good performance by him. Precision is so accurate in this event. Two seconds off the clock. Here we go. Too bad again. 49 once more. Good first two rounds for him. Puts him in first. Only one point ahead of China. Three ahead of the USA. But this is where it gets tough. Six seconds now. Still the same. Needs to be good. That time 48, we'll be happy with that, could have been a little bit better. But him and China at the moment, Italy and China, both level on points. And now round four is where it gets really, really tough. Just a slight mistake and it can cost you. Just four seconds. Ah, the last one was disappointing, the seven. He did really well up to that point. You can see Eddie Myers there, a perfect score, has brought him back into the contest. Well, they've dropped down to second, and China have taken first. Two rounds to go, four seconds each. Smaller targets. That was decent, 48.6. Wasn't as good as China though, you can see China now pulling away and the USA are catching Italy up. Can they hold on here? One more event to go, one more round. The pressure is mounting and concentration is at an all time high. That was a good round for him, 50.3. It's not going to be good enough for the gold. 
but it is good enough for the silver and a new personal best with a score of 290.9 you will be happy with that but it is Yang Zheng of China in first Italy second and Eddie Myers of USA will take third and this time we get to listen to the Chinese national anthem three fine competitors fully deserving of the accolades that they're receiving So there it is, China take a first goal of the game, so I think that's the second actually of the games. As you can see now, Italy still first, seven golds and a silver. China second with two golds and four silvers. And Greece third with two silvers. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed day five of the Olympics, still five more days to go. And the events we have to choose from now are the women's high jump, 100 meter butterfly, the 100 meters Usain Bolt style, the kayak single, the men's skeet, and the men's single skulls. So let me know what you guys want me to do, otherwise I will do the skulls and the butterfly events. Of course if you haven't subscribed, please do so. But until next time, take care.